what we're going to look at now is masking up canopies because um, as much as you can buy um, pre-cut masks one you're paying out money um, and two personally I don't like them because um, you've got to make sure they fit up absolutely perfect whereas if you make your own masks one you save a bit of money and personally I find that you can cut um, it a lot much more closer to the edge um, and you can pretty much make any kind of masks you want to make then so it really is a skill that I do recommend you learn and try and get the hang of because it will save you money and it will allow you to be able to mask up anything and everything that you possibly want and it's not that much of a hard task it just needs a bit of experience um, and a little bit of knowledge of how to do it now what I'm going to use here I'm going to use Tamiya's um, I think it's the six mil uh, masking tape and what we're going to do is we're just going to mask up this canopy here and I'm going to get off a nice lung bit now I'm going to get a lung bit because what you may find is that actually you don't need to go off and um, slap down a load of masking tape and then cut it all up right because what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get this masking tape and put it along one of our uh, edges like so and we want to get it as much to the edge as possible and then what we want to do is I'll bring you right in for this is when we get to one of our corners because it is in a sharp corner we can kind of pinch it with our nail like so and then we can just curl it up oh, let's get you on camera pinch it with our nail at the corner and then we can pinch it and try and curl it around A little bit tricky but you will get the hang of it until it meets where you want to start it again on the next line like so and we can just fold that down right and then we can follow this around a nice straight line there nice and easy again coming along pinching at the corner right trying to keep you on camera and do this at the same time pinch it at the corner and then move it until it reaches the next line like so push that down a bit and then we can take it along that line there now it does seem to kind of um, arch here um, and to get this to go across is going to be um, a little we need to basically make a little bit of a cut here so I'm using, because we've got a little bar here on the actual canopy, I don't know if you can see that. I may as well just cut into that, but not cut, right, not cut all the way to the end. We don't want to cut it in half, we just want to give it a little bit of a, more of a room to bend. Hopefully you've seen that. Haven't cut it all the way down. So then now we can um, bend the masking tape a lot easier. to follow it all the way to our next corner down here again pinch with a nail and then we want to kind of fold that until it gets to the um, next line you want to follow and again to the next one although actually I think I will in this case just make another cut this end remember not all the way to the end all right just so we can bend this side because what you go remember with masking tape um, the thinner it is the more it will bend and go around curves and by putting that little cut in there we've been able to give it that bit of a bend a lot easier and then again we come into here and I'm just gonna get some nice scissors just gonna cut this a little bit we just want to finish this off now so again the nail bring it round and there you go we can join up to the next one fold that down 
give this a little bit of a cut and there we go Just make sure that's all nice and lined up Now just get a little bit of a piece out just to hold this down a bit because sadly my sweaty fingers are taking the stickiness off this well right, so there we go I mean maybe I mean that is something that's just going to take a bit of experience and a bit of time a bit of patience you know practice um, and there you go I mean we've gone all the way around this canopy and that's all nicely masked up now what we want to do now is we can come along get another bit of masking tape and we just want to finish this off so we can start by um, starting at the middle then bring that down and then bring it down the other side maybe just give it a little bit of a trim so we don't end up going the other side or going over and again another bit start from the middle the top right and then you just fold it around like so give it a bit of a snip there we go same side follow it around and down and then let's give that a snip Right, make sure it's all nice and down like so and then we get our blade out now this has been the only bit of cutting we've had to do really um, you some some canopies like say this one we're probably gonna have to do a bit of cutting but with cutting it's a simple case well what you want to do is you want to do folds and bends like I've done here um, with little cutting as possible because it ends up looking neater but when you do need to cut brand spanking new number 11 blade on there don't have some old blade because you won't be able to cut uh, you want to be able to just literally touch this and it cuts perfectly and you don't have to like keep cutting keep cutting to get into it so what you want to do here now this is the part where sadly we're gonna to have to go off camera a little bit because what you want to do you want to get something like a lamp like what I've got here um, it is off camera but there is a lamp just here and then you put it up to the lamp um, and what you want to do is sorry I'm going off camera but you put it up to the lamp and then you can see through and you can just see enough to see the outline um, of where you need to cut and then you can just nicely cut and follow the outline and because you've got a nice sharp blade you're making one single cut only right I'm just gonna show you now let's bring you in I made those cuts again sorry that's off camera but I've just made the cut and what we can simply do now is just peel this up like so and we've got that nice clean cut so a nice blade a nice bit of light so you can basically it acts as like tracing paper by putting the light there nice clean blade allows you to cut through once and not have to keep cutting and then what you've got um, just polish this up a sec what you've got is um, this centerpiece here. You can use, um, uh, I forgot what it was called again there, um, some sort of masks, you know, the painting on mask. But uh, what we can simply do is maybe get some of the 16mm the, um, Tamiya tape and just fold that over like so. Same this side, fold it over cut wherever you need to cut like so maybe come in with the 10 mil now and we're just simply filling in these big gaps which is nice and easy anyone can do this you don't really need much practice And there we go. One more should finish this off. 
there we go as you can see that is how you make your own masks uh, again I, you know, I will keep saying it's something you're not going to just pick up and all of a sudden you're doing it nicely professionally no problems it is a um, a process of learning getting a bit of experience trying it out and eventually before you know it it's an absolute doddle and you've got no problems and you're saving yourself money and in a lot of ways I do think it's neater and better as well as you can do it to any canopy you want you don't have to rely on the fact that Eddard or whoever does the masks uh, well the pre-cut masks actually has a pre foot pre-cut mass for whatever canopy you're doing um, so there you go I hope um, that has been benef beneficial for you